So we're here at the beautiful Monte Cassino Hotel and Event Center to celebrate the Village Charities 2024 Hard in Hand Awards. Uh, and these are awards that are given to a group of dedicated volunteers and partners of the organization who've gone above and beyond to help us provide the programs and services for our community. This is a night where we're not necessarily looking to raise money. What we're looking to do is honor the volunteers who are the lifeblood of the Villa Charities family. Uh, we couldn't do what we do without them. Uh, they bring so much warmth, support. Um, they just bring activity to what we're doing and it's great to have them. And it, I think it's a great idea to, to say thank you once in a while to them, a big heartfelt thank you for the work they do for us. The importance of tonight is it's about the volunteer spirit within our community. Those that work tirelessly on the board at night, on weekends, doing work for the benefit of the community and no one knows. And we, as a community organization, we're remiss in saying thank you. And tonight is all about the catch up and saying thank you to all of them. Stasera una serata molto importante perché tante persone nella nostra comunità sono volentieri. Volontari con Villa Charities. And what is Villa Charities? Villa Charities è un'organizzazione itola canadese per uh, più di 50 anni. Uh, aiutate la comunità italiana, itola canadese qui a Toronto. Adesso aiuta le anziane, le persone che hanno bisogno di un, una, una casa di anziane che hanno problemi di, di salute, di medico, cose medicali, sanità. E stasera ci avremo le persone che aiutano, che appoggiano Villa Charities e la nostra comunità italo canadese. Volunteers are so important. I mean, they're people that give up their time and energy in support of a great cause. And Villa Charities is one of those iconic uh, organizations that really focused on the needs of, uh, of the Italian Canadian community here in the GTA. And they've done such wonderful work. Villa Charities, Villa Colombo, Columbus Center, all of the facilities that they've uh, helped uh, support and fund um, is really supported by the volunteers that have really stood out over the years. And we're here to celebrate these great individuals and say thank you. Um, and I think that's very important to, that these individuals be recognized by their peers. And there are over 600 people here tonight celebrating uh, heart and hand. And to Chin Radio as media sponsor and as always a big, big supporter of Villa Charity is so proud to be here. So congratulations to everyone and congratulations to Marco De Bono, who's done a wonderful job in bringing us all together here. And of course, Senator uh, Tony Veroni uh, as well for uh, being a champion of, throughout his entire career for Villa Charities. Un evento molto importante per riconoscere tutti coloro che per tanti anni hanno dato servizio e tempo ed anche denaro alla Villa Charities che è un'organizzazione molto importante, direi la più importante nella nostra comunità. Il premio si chiama Heart and Hand Award, cuore e mano e mi fa pensare a una bellissima espressione italiana, una mano lava l'altra e insieme lavano la faccia. We are also uh, this evening honoring uh, one of our founders, Anthony Fusco Sr. with a very special uh, award. Uh, this is the Village Charities Outstanding Volunteer Award. And because of his incredible dedication, we are renaming this award going forward to the Anthony Fusco uh, Outstanding Volunteer Award in, in honor of all of the work that he's done for us. Tony is an icon of the Italian community. He's been so since 1972, before the organization started. Without him, this organization wouldn't have had the footing it had. And, and he's still here in spirit. His family is here. And, and we wish him all the best in terms of good health. And, and I know he's with us here tonight. So volunteers always need a mentor, uh, someone to look up to. And, and certainly individuals that come to mind are, to me are like, uh, Anthony Fusco, one of the founding members of, of this great organization, and a great supporter, Sam Ciccolini, 
And uh, these two individuals have become mentors and examples to future generations of volunteerism. Uh, and uh, they've attracted some outstanding individuals. And uh, I'm very proud to be uh, perhaps uh, one of those, those individuals who were encouraged and uh, mentored uh, and inspired by these two great individuals. The message I'd have is to get involved. We have a wonderful community. It's a community of uh, people who really give of their time, of their money. Uh, we've created, a, Village Charities has created a Next Gen Young Leaders Committee, and I encourage people to uh, come forward, support, but get involved in your community. Uh, we, we can all share some of our time. It doesn't have to be money, but some of your time. Come to Village Charities. There's a number of uh, opportunities to uh, volunteer your, your time for seniors, for youth, for cultural programs, for the community events. I, uh, I, I strongly encourage you to do that. The experience is going to be very rewarding. We've invited a bunch of youth here this evening. Villa Charities has a scholarship program as well for, for youth. And so we want to make sure that the younger people see what Villa Charities is about because we think that'll give them the spark to be volunteers in any event. We want them to see how important we think volunteers are. That's why we have them here tonight and that's why we have this event. And we want them to know and, and they can see it by the work that the volunteers do, that we can't just do this based on government funding. We need to bring extra to the table and hopefully events like this give that spark to the youth. Volunteering in charity gives you back a lot more than you could ever possibly give. And, and, and that's the key for our youth, getting them to understand that they will get out of this experience of volunteering a lot more than they ever put in. And, and that comes from the parents, the friends, those that have volunteered in the past, and passing it down onto their children. Ma guardi, stasera ci stanno tante persone che sono giovani, meno di la mia età, che io sono 52 anni, ci stanno tante persone di 30 anni, 25 anni, e è bello vedere i giovani italo canadesi che di nuovo si interessano nella nostra comunità e stasera è un altro esempio di questo fenomeno che adesso tanti giovani nella nostra comunità vogliono appoggiare, aiutare Village Charities e anche sono molto orgogliosi del loro, eh, la nostra patrimonio, la nostra storia, la nostra cultura e la nostra sacrificio che abbiamo fatto qui nella GTA e in tutto il Canada. Be proud of your heritage, be proud of your identity as an Italian Canadian. Um, you know, remember what your values are, your roots, um, family, working hard, giving back. Uh, and I, I hope that people, young people are inspired by tonight's awards. So yeah, remember your values. This event tonight uh, couldn't be possible without our, our, all of our sponsors and uh, the volunteers who came together to put this together. Uh, the, the proceeds from the event are going to go to support senior care, uh, youth services, education and scholarships and cultural programs. And I just want to take an opportunity to thank uh, Nick Torchetti and Senator uh, Tony Veroni as co-chairs of the event, the entire Heart and Hand Committee, and all of the staff and volunteers for putting this uh, event on. And, and a special thanks to Chin for being the media sponsor and putting together the wonderful videos uh, that, that we were able to see tonight. Thank you so much.